for our prodigy, things started moving very quickly. One month after certification, at last it was time to deliver the first A320 to Air France. This was the chance for Airbus to further strengthen the bonds with the major world airlines and to become much more than just a simple partner. La fidélité jamais démentie d'Air France au matériel Airbus a été l'un des atouts majeurs du développement du consortium Airbus Industrie et du renouveau de la construction aéronautique civile européenne. L'Airbus A320 constituera pour la compagnie un outil essentiel de cette stratégie. Il est bien adapté aux besoins des liaisons de moyens courriers à trafic intense qu'il permet de desservir à fréquence élevée avec un coefficient d'occupation satisfaisant. As the orders and deliveries picked up speed, the A320 started to fill the skies, winning over more and more airlines. The airline companies soon realized that with the A320, Airbus was inventing a concept that was perfectly adapted to their needs. Aircraft designed along the same model, a family of aircraft, the A320 family. There was the A321, the A319, etc. etc. Euh, avec parfois de belles empoignades. C'est très difficile de raccourcir un avion. L'allonger, c'est toujours peu, peu, peu euh, facile. With the official launch of the A321 program in November 1989, Airbus was perfectly in line with what the airlines were looking for. A better way to manage their fleets and flight crews. For an airline, an aircraft family means greater responsiveness to fluctuations in traffic. Hence, reduced operating costs. With the A319 and A318 that came to complete the family, Airbus had in fact invented the elastic aircraft and offered airlines capacities from the 100-seat A318 up to 200 seats for the A321. This concept was tailor-made for the short and medium-range market that started to grow rapidly from the 1990s onwards. Thanks to the success of the A320 family, Airbus also took on a new market with Panache, that of the corporate jet. Rien actuellement ne permet de regretter ce qu'on a fait sur le 320. Rien. Ni au point de vue sécurité, ni au point de vue prix de revient, ni au point de vue fabrication. Simplement, ce qu'on a fait sur le 320 est quelque chose qui était très difficile qui représentait, disons, un risque calculé, mais tout de même un risque. Mais on avait le choix entre faire ça ou, au fond, ne pas réussir l'Airbus. <musique>